Hello everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Soup and stew season are officially back and it's time to make my creamy pumpkin soup with fennel, apples, and crispy bacon bits. This soup is packed with so much incredible flavor and aroma. You're going to love it from the very first spoonful. To make this soup, we're going to start by roasting all our veggies and aromatics in the oven, including the pumpkin, apples, fennel, carrots, garlic, fresh herbs, and then we'll finish the soup by pureeing everything, adding in a little bit of chicken broth, some milk, and topping it off with those crispy bacon bits and enjoying the soup with a little bit of toasted buttered bread on the side. This soup is such a treat for fall. Don't forget to head on down into the video description box for the recipe link. I'm going to have all the details up on my website for you. And now let's make this delicious recipe. To get things started, you want to preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit and line a large baking sheet with foil. This will just save you some extra time when you're washing up the dishes later. And for today's recipe, we're going to need a pumpkin. It's about three and a half to four pounds. I think this was called like a kubi squash probably the wrong name for it, but you can use any squash or pumpkin for this recipe. We just need to peel it, scoop out all the seeds, chop it into chunks, and then we'll get the rest of the ingredients going as well. Start by peeling your pumpkin or squash first, and I took the time to find the name of the squash. It's called a curry squash. <laughs> and then use a spoon to scoop out the seeds. And then we'll break down the pumpkin by cutting it into sections first, and then that'll make it super easy to cube it into chunks. Drop the squash onto your lined baking sheet. Next, we'll need two large apples, and I recommend peeling these. Add the apples. And we'll need one medium-sized bulb of fennel. I like to cut off this uh, root part off the bottom. Then we're going to cut the fennel into small pieces. You can also cut out this hard little core at the bottom. Add the fennel. Next, we'll add three chopped large carrots, one large sweet onion, and about 10 to 12 garlic cloves. I love to have lots of garlic in my soup. And now it's time to get all our veggies and aromatic season. And before I do that, I'm gonna drizzle them with a couple tablespoons of olive oil. You can also use melted butter. It's gonna help all the spices really stick to the veggies. And then to add extra moisture into the roasting pan, I'm going to start with about three quarter cups of white wine. I'm just using a little crisp, dry Savoyon Blanc. Pour that in. And we're also going to add in about three quarter cups of chicken stock or chicken broth. And then as the veggies roast, the extra moisture is going to help them uh, soften faster. And a little splash of some maple syrup because I think, oops, <laughs> I think it's the perfect addition for any fall recipe. We'll start with one tablespoon of fresh thyme, a tablespoon of fresh oregano, a tablespoon of fresh rosemary chopped, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and one teaspoon of dried basil. I also love smoked paprika, so we're gonna sprinkle about a teaspoon of that over our veggies. It's gonna add a really delicious, aromatic, smoky flavor. Season very generously with sea salt. Lots of ground black pepper. And then you use your hands and just toss everything together. You wanna to make sure that those herbs are well distributed, get everything nicely seasoned and coated. And before this goes into the oven, it's super important to cover the pan with a sheet of extra wide foil to really trap in all that moisture so the veggies and the aromatics just cook faster. Thank you. 
And then we'll roast all our veggies at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 30 minutes with the foil on. Remove the foil and roast for another 30 minutes to one hour total of roasting until all the veggies are extra tender, super soft, and are golden brown on the top. And we'll come back to finish off the soup. And while the veggies are roasting, I'm going to render my bacon bits. I have chopped about six to seven slices of smoked bacon, add that into a frying pan. Just let this fry until the bacon bits are golden and crispy. And once your veggies are roasted, take them out of the oven, place the sheet pan on a wire rack and just let them cool for about 15 to 20 minutes. Now that our veggies are ready, it's time to puree them for the soup. And you can use a variety of kitchen appliances to do this. For example, a food blender, an immersion blender in a pot, or a food processor. I personally really like my food processor because it gives me a really fine puree. And I'm going to do this in, I think, about thirds. So add about a third, puree until it's really nice and smooth, pour into a pot, and then discontinue until all the veggies are pureed. And because this puree can be quite thick, I like to thin it out with just a little bit of chicken stock. Transfer the puree into a large pot. And next we're going to pour in two cups of whole milk to our vegetable puree. Stir that around. And I'm going to bring this up to a simmer. Just warm it up so it's nice and hot when you're enjoying it. Pour in a cup of chicken stock. And if you wanted to make a vegetarian version of the soup, you could use veggie stock and then a coconut milk or maybe a cashew milk instead of the whole milk. And once you bring the pumpkin soup up to simmer, it is ready to be enjoyed. I just love the rich orange color of this soup and the aroma is mouthwatering too. Ladle out some soup. And I like to finish the soup off with a little drizzle of some cream. Sprinkle on those bacon bits. and some freshly cracked black pepper on the top. And this soup is ready to be enjoyed. And that's it for my easy, creamy pumpkin soup recipe. I simply love the aroma of all the veggies roasting in the oven combined with that smoky bacon aroma. It's simply mouthwatering and I can't wait for you to try this recipe at home. Head on down into the video description box for all the recipe details and the ingredients. I'll have everything online for you. Meanwhile, let's dig in and enjoy. I love having the bacon bits on top. And one thing that I also like to add to the soup if I'm looking for a high protein meal is some fried ground turkey i season it with like uh, dried onion and garlic and smoked paprika and salt and pepper and then i add the ground turkey to the soup so it's a really great high protein option as well all right let's dig in oh this looks so good i love the texture and the aroma mmm just wow the flavors here are out of this world this is going to be your new favorite fall soup it's just so incredibly delicious mmm I could have just eat bowl after bowl of this. It is so incredibly light and easy to eat and you have all the flavor, the sweet pumpkin, a little bit of that fennel coming through. I think the fennel and the apple just really elevate this soup to another level. You're going to love it. Mm. And then when you get a little bit of the smoky bacon bits in there, it's even more delicious. You are going to love this incredible soup. I just need some toasted buttered bread to go with the soup or even a grilled cheese sandwich. My husband loves to add some Parmesan cheese on top of this soup when he's enjoying it. It makes it even more delicious. I hope you enjoyed this incredible recipe all season long and thank you so much for watching my latest episode. I'll see you next time with a new recipe.